Hello, I'm Samantha, and today is another bow spring breakdown. Today, I'll be breaking down falcon pose, which is a really great pose, and I found that almost everybody I teach it to really, really enjoys it. Now, you might think this pose looks a little bit similar to pigeon pose um, from the old school alignment, but do not be deceived. It's nothing like pigeon pose at all. So in pigeon pose, um, you go like this and the, the, the head of the femur bone pushes forward and you do feel a stretch in the front, um, but we found that that's not necessarily very healthy. So in the bow spring version, and this is more, um, the pigeon pose is more of a release or a relaxation and can be, sometimes it's not. Um, and the bow spring is their version is very activated. And like I said, it's, it's nothing like it. Um, Maybe uh, they're both named after birds. <laughs> so you can uh, check it out, try out both and see the, how they're very much different from each other. Um, and without further ado, we'll start it. I'm gonna give you two ways to get into it and two ways to get out of it. So one way is gonna be a little bit easier and the next is gonna be more engaged. The benefit of the more engaged version is you're gonna be a little bit more rooted into the alignment. Um, however, if, if you're not strong enough for that yet, that's totally fine. You can get it the easy way and still uh, feel the effects of this alignment adjustment. All right, so we'll get started in all fours pose. And we'll simplify in all fours. So you'll find the alignment, central channel long, Radiant heart full, wings and root system engaged. And from all fours, we'll lift up into a crouching cat. I'm gonna show you the harder way to get into it first. Tuck your toes under and lift up crouching cat. All right, get your good crouching cat, simplifying in crouching cat. And then we're going to take a twisted cat left, toes, knees, and nose, swivel to the left. And then I'm going to plant the left foot and cross the right ankle over the left knee. Okay, sit your butt back to deepen your groins and then hover the left heel, swivel back to the original. Fill in radiant heart and then lower both knees and feet to the floor, slowly. Find your ankle hollows, okay? So the way I set myself up, I did a twisted cat first and then I crossed over. That forced my hips to go deeper and stay deeper as I transitioned into falcon. Now another way you can get down, get into falcon is starting from all fours pose. You just, you just slide the heel up forward like that. So that's the easier way to get into it. And if you get into it that way, I recommend that you mold the fascia of the glutes up and in to help you untuck the tailbone um, by opening up the fascia instead of stressing out your low back. So from here, the first thing I want to check is that my ankle hollows are intact. So a lot of times in Falcon, uh, it's like we're tying our feet in a knot, we forget to activate them. So the, either the back one will go flat like that, I see that a lot, so pull into the top of the foot to create that empty space. And usually what I see in the front heel is it just collapses, the whole foot collapses and sickles like that, okay? So which really wouldn't matter in a pigeon pose, but well it would, um, but we're not doing pigeon pose, we're doing falcon and it certainly does matter. And I press into the top of the foot to engage my hollows and I, you can pull your heel forward a little bit if it's trying to fall back into a sickle. Find that engagement. Yeah, and then I like to shift the hips to the left and the right here and I'll feel where the fascia is tight and I'll work to open it up. You can take some forward and backwards here too. Keeping radiant heart full and being aware when you pulse back, if your tail is tucking, if your tail is rounding when you go back, 
you're going back too far or you're losing the engagement from your feet and knees. So keep your alignment even in your pulse. Okay? So we're going to go down a little bit lower. Reach your right seed hand forward and ice pick the side of the seed hand into the floor. So that's like you're really shoving it in there and pushing it down. So with the pressure of your hand on the floor, you can feel your right tricep activate. That's good. That's what you want. Now lower the elbow without lowering the shoulder or the wrist. So I keep pushing the shoulder up. I lower the elbow and I've still kept a wrist hollow. Okay. Okay. Here's the tricky part. We're going to do the same thing on the other side without letting the ribs fall to the floor. So keep the ribs pushing high. Breathe deep. It looks easy, but it's not. Reach your left seat forward. Here's where I start to shake. Ice pick and dig drag that side hand into the floor. Lower the elbow without lowering the shoulder or the wrist. There you go. That's sphinx arms, ice pick hands, phoenix pose. Check your hollows of your ankles. And then go through the algorithm, long central channel, radiant heartful, engage roots and wings. You can find the pulse here. Good. Now you can stay here and play around, go left and right, even tuck your chin to the chest to lift the scruff of your neck a little bit more and then tilt your ears back. Okay, I come out of this, come out the way you came in, we'll anchor down left seat hand, lift the elbow, dome to spring, other side, dome to spring, and then two ways out of it. Just pulling it out and coming back to all fours, easier way, or keep pushing the right ankle into the left knee, tuck the left toes under a lot, lift up, hips go back, twisted cat left, step the right foot down, twist it back to the center, that's kind of fun, and then back. All right. Now, when I show you the other side, I'm going to add on a flying version of it, okay? So we'll take a twisted cat right, and you can just step into falcon if you're going the easier method. I'm going to cross the left ankle over the right knee, and notice how I push the hips back. That's going to help later on. Hover the right heel, swivel the knees, and then lower both knees and feet to the floor. Untuck the back toes. Keep radiant heart high, and that will take the weight out of your knees, okay? Trust me here. Keep pressing to the top of the feet. That will help as well. And keep the roots and the wings engaged. We're going to ice pick. Ice pick. Good. And then find some pulses here. And you might find one hip is a little more sticky than the other. All right, okay, now I'm gonna slide my front knee forward a lot. And I'm gonna slide my back knee back a lot. So I'm not really on the knee anymore in the back, I'm more on the top of the thigh. And while I'm there, I'll flex and fiesta flare, okay? So I've still got a strong left ankle hollow and I'm gonna work my way back up. And then before I go up any further, I'm going to square my hips. So the tendency here is to one of them go way far back and they get unbalanced. So I'm going to look, use my mirrors, use my video camera, okay? Using my hollows, okay? And I'm trying all I can to mount my glutes upward, okay? And then I'll float up. Activation on the back of the leg. I'll tap to check for tone. Good, and then I can take the hands to headrest, and then open up. 
Chin up bar. Coming back down, it's pretty hard. Oh, oh. Still working on that one. But I hope you can too. I'm gonna show you a different way that's a little bit easier getting the flying falcon because it's super hard to do um, if you want to maintain the integrity of the bow spring. All right, so what happens when we're coming up typically is the back body becomes disengaged and the butt gets a little bit floppy and it's hard to engage it upward. And we, why do we want to do that? Because it saves the low back. Okay, so I'll show you a way you can do that. Other than having a friend stand behind you pulling your heel away from you, you can turn to a wall and then I'm going to dig drag my paw on the wall, which I'll move my mat and maybe you can see the mirror. Yeah. Okay, so I've got got my left paw on the wall, deep in the hips, and so I can dig drag on the wall with my foot. Now the glutes are totally activated. Look, I can even kind of fly from here. Chin up bar. Float my heart. <laughs> Posterior chain. intense. <laughs> Thank you for watching and if you have any questions please let me know and check out all the other videos in the Bowspring Breakdown series. Thank you. Namaste.